Hi, I'm Dave Wilkerson with eXp Realty, and today we're going to discuss the top four questions that everybody asks their mortgage broker. So today's going to be a little different. I have with me Jane Leisure from Diamond Residential Mortgage. She's my favorite mortgage broker. She's going to tell you the answers to the top four questions that everybody asks. So Jan, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am Jan Leisure, Diamond Residential Mortgage. I have been in the business for 25 years and I do all mortgages, refinances and purchases from one to four units. And I'm here to answer all your questions, Dave. All right. And Jan is a rock star. She's been working with me. I've been working with her since I had hair. So that was a long time ago. So we'll dive right in. What's the first question everybody asks you? First question that everybody asks me is what's happening with rates. So if I had a real crystal ball, <laughs> I would gaze into it and I wouldn't be sitting here with you because I'd be on a beach in Hawaii someplace if I really knew what was happening with rates. Uh, what I can tell you is that we have been enjoying a really great ride for the last 12 to 18 months. Rates are at all time lows. However, they are becoming uh, a little tumultuous and we've got a lot of fear that rates are going to be going up. I have been getting, can you see this, an alert to lock. Yep. I've been receiving one of those every single day, probably for the last, um, probably for about the last six days. And what does that mean? That means that there's uh, there's turmoil in the market, there's crazy things happening um, all around the world, and uh, and rates are rates are are going up. So we have to be very cognizant of that when we're purchasing or refinancing a house. All right. So another great question I'm sure you get all the time is now a good time to buy. Uh, you know what, Dave? Actually, this is a good time to buy. Uh, I think that with the uh, with the great um, the great sales year that we had for the last 12 or 18 months, um, and with property values increasing, we're now in a little bit of a a little bit of a lull. I think that you notice in your business as well, where 10 people aren't bidding, you know, like crazy on one single house. So. Yeah. With a little bit of a, a little bit of a lull in the market, this is an op a great opportunity for you to take an opportunity to buy, to switch houses, sell your house, but also with rates. So we don't know what's going to happen with rates. Um, I think I will show again. I'm getting alerts to lock all the time, um, but the the market is pretty even. So if you're going to get a rate in the threes, possibly even in the twos, if you get a 15 year, this would be a good time to buy your dream home so that you can keep your payment down and the enjoyment of your house up. Yeah, that, for those long-term purchases, you gotta lock those things in. I, same with investors, just buy it now while money's cheap. All right, so we'll hop in the, next, the third question, which is what factors determine your rate? I know this is a two hour conference. Let's see if we can get it down to a quick, what are, what are the big factors, bullet points? I'll go as fast as I can. So obviously credit. So your credit is super, super important. If your credit's in the 500s, you want to call me and have me fix your credit before you want to buy a house. If you're at 640, we can get you into a government program like FHA or VA, and you can even go up to 500,000. My suggestion is that you try to get your middle score over 700 so that you get absolutely the best rate in the market. But credit isn't the only thing that, uh, that plays a part in what your rate is going to be. Uh, people might not even understand that the kind of loan that you get makes a difference in the rate and even where you live. So if you are living in an area, for example, in, in Illinois and you're in Tornado Alley, your rate's going to be a little bit higher than one of your neighbors who's, who's living a little bit more off the grid. Uh, if you're living in Florida or in a, in a big flood zone, all of those things are risk factors um, that will affect your rate just a little bit. Also, how much do you put down um, and um, and whether or not you have a co-borrower, you don't have a co-borrower. So there, there are a lot of things, but I would say that your number one factor is credit. Okay, and I, it's great what, from what you said too, and I've worked with you on this, is it's great that you actually help people repair their credits. A lot of company repair their credit. A lot of companies will just say, nope, you don't qualify, move on to the next person in an assembly line, but you take the time to talk with people through the process and help them with it, which is awesome. I will go down to the next question, which kind of relates to the other two is, is it a good time to refinance? Uh, right now is actually a really good time to refinance uh, in spite of the fact that the rates are going up and down. Once somebody has their application in, we don't have to lock right away. So I can watch the market. And if we happen to get into a dip, we can grab a low rate 
um, we don't have to have to lock the rate immediately. So you get to take advantage of those days where there's some crazy thing happening uh, around the world that affects our rates in the United States. And I can grab that low rate and, and we can lock it in. So this is a super good time to do that. Yeah, it's great. Just the money, I just can't believe how cheap the money is. I appreciate all those answers, Jan, and I'm sure that people could dive a lot deeper, but it's different for every individual. So how is it best for the people watching this video to reach out to you? Anybody can call me at my office in Libertyville, Illinois at 847-362-1335. I'm licensed in Illinois, Wisconsin, Florida, and a lot of other states. So if you're interested in refinancing or you want to buy a house out of state with me and Dave, or if you if Dave's not licensed, I can take care of it. So call me at the office. Thank you. All right. Thanks again, Janet. And we'll put that information down below in the comments as well for all of you people watching the video. I hope you found that information useful. As with anything, it's these answers are specific to you and your situation. So please reach out to myself or Jan Leisure, and we would be happy to discuss the options with you. Take care.